Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, I'm DartQ and today we'll be continuing our Let's Play of Flaxius Power. Now as you can see, we're in the St. Leona Hill Valley. Now this valley is not the most difficult dungeon in the world, and by dungeon I mean, well it is technically a dungeon still. Um, now, the dungeon itself isn't too hard, the only difficult part is that there's a small section where you wouldn't exactly see what you're supposed to do, and that is where people often get stuck. Now the funny thing about earth trouts is, if you defeat them, you can actually find an earth trout, which heals 60 health. So you can actually eat the enemy, which is disturbing, but also quite funny. Now one of the things here is, don't be scared of egressing. Like, as soon as something happens, as soon as you find something, just egress out and get to the next section. There is no reason to like spend too much time on these sections. When you can just be getting out of them quite easily. Um, so we're going to be continuing along our path here. Now, the right side doesn't really contain too much else. To my recollection, I think. So, we're actually going to decide to go up the left side. And hopefully in the left side we'll be able to find what we're looking for. Now the difficulty of this place, as I said, is that there are a lot of things where you don't quite realize what you're supposed to be doing. It's cockatrix feathers. Now you see, there are huge cockatrixes here, which is not nice. You might remember cockatrixes. cockatrices. I am not a fan of cockatrices. Especially not after what happened last time. Uh, okay, so this thing decides to be annoying about it. Jesus, all I want to do is kill you. Can't you just die? Boom. So it actually made random feints, which kind of sucks. We're going to have to revive him now. And then go back and eat whales. To keep our stats up. Now, one of these two sets of stairs actually leads to nothing. And I think it's this one. It leads to the second part. Now, we already missed the thing that we're supposed to do to get to San Leona. Let me just point that out. I don't know if any of you actually noticed it. And no, it's not the fact that you have to go to the left path. Like, that has something to do with it, but that's not why we missed it, so to speak. We missed it because of something else. There was something very specific. And it's very hard to notice, and I don't think most people would notice it. But it's there, and that's the reason that we actually missed the path to St. Leona, so to speak. So, for those that did not pay that much attention or just did not see it. I will be going towards it right now and I will be activating it so to speak right now so you can actually see what I'm talking about and what this little trick is. Because it is not as much a trick as it is a cleverly hidden thing. Now the first thing you'll want to do is you'll actually want to go back down all the way. Oh right you can't go back here. All the way and you want to actually go down this. Now, if you see that grave, that is another grave for the seven cin for the 13 Cinders quest, uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm definitely 90% sure that it's another chest for the um, 13 Cinders quest. So keep in mind that that one is here. You don't really have to remember it, seeing as we will be doing the 13 Cinders quest in another video. Now, you might notice there is a chest all the way over there. And you can definitely try and go and get that chest if you want to. It's definitely, like... Every single chest in this game can be a very useful chest, so I definitely do urge you to check every chest you can. It's just that that one is kind of out of the way, and we'd have to backtrack a bit. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, whatever. Um, we're back with the instant encounters. You have no clue how much this annoys me. Like, I can handle these fights so easily. They are not difficult at all. But the fact that it's literally an encounter per second annoys me so much. Because there's no reason for it. Just space out these encounters. Make a minimum appearance rate or something. I don't know. Just don't do this to me. Now get to some of the Dryads and that's actually going to deal like no damage whatsoever. Now Hear Me Cry does have a good chance to shock the enemy which is really nice because shocking the enemy just is such a great status effect. And then there will be one tonic tea inside this chest, so... Forgive me for feeling kind of trolled now. I thought that there would be something decent inside, and it was a flippin' 
tonic tea. Now, as I said, just to grass out of there instantly, and then we continue up our path. Now, here it says, Road to St. Leona, use the magic stump. So I wonder, have you noticed already, or have you still not noticed, what is it you're supposed to be doing here? You can actually go to the left here for this chest, which will have a save your scarf. And you can go up here for even more of this dungeon. But there will be no path to St. Leona here. You cannot get to St. Leona from here. There will be this chest, which contains a brutal axe, which, as we know by now, sells for some nice coins. Which, as we know by now, sells for some nice coins. But other than that, as you know, there is actually nothing interesting in this place. So the question is, why does it say to use the magic tree stump? Well, that's the entire thing. The magic tree stump is actually how you're supposed to do all of this. And by all, I mean all of it. We're finally going to use one of these antidotes. Now, the chest up there is one of the last useful things. And the annoying thing about these salamanders is they either run away or they use the sylphs. Um, they give decent experience, but like, if you don't kill them in the first turn, they will, run they will just hit you and then run away. So we find red parsley. And then at that point we can actually egress because there will be nothing useful left. Now, as I said, this entire dungeon is re not really the most elaborate dungeon there is. It's not really the most elaborate dungeon there is. You just gotta go north and then you'll be there. Because look, right now we're just going to finish it. Or we're going to aim to finish it. It's a sad day when killing something goes faster than running away from it. Like, why is this land rogue single encounter even a thing? Now what you want to do is you want to go here, you want to circle around this uh, stump here. Same with these trouts, like why is this a thing? They're weak. And like, yay, we found an earth trout. Am I supposed to be happy now? Whatever. You want to circle around it. This will contain an elfic spear, but I don't think it's better than the Agarian spear. And then the stump is going to let you jump. And that is a big thing. That is a big thing that you have to know, because if you don't know that that's going to be a thing, it's so easy to miss, and you're just not going to know, because you were not, like, if you did not, if you're not the kind of person that reads signs in a video game, like, how are you going to find out? Maybe by reading the sign eventually, but like, now this is indeed, uh, Hazenave the Burglar, Soul and Body Buried. So that is going to be, uh, a tomb for the 13th Sinner's Quest. Now, I still do not have a clue what the 13th Sinner's Quest is, like, it's not like anyone explains this to you. You, like, only know that it's going to be a thing at some point in this game, that you need to visit graves. That's all I know, that's all you guys know, so, you know. What I'm confused about is, though, imagine trekking a car to St. Leona with, like, goodies. Are you telling me that you actually have to go through the magic tree stump to sell your stuff in St. Leona? Because that would be legitimately dumb as hell. Like, imagine being a merchant and having to trek to this entire place and use a magic tree stump with your cart just to deliver your goods. But, yeah. So, he is a traveling merchant. Why are you buying this, you might ask? Well, I don't know. Now, this actually is, all, is another revival item. You can't use it in battle, though. That's the big difference. Uh, but it does heal 55%. Now, I'm not sure if this tiger actually changes its dialogue if you keep talking to it. Doesn't seem that way. But then to the right, you will be entering, like, Road to St. Leona. So this is the Road to St. Leona. Yes. Now you see, on the right is actually the section that we explored earlier with the um, chest. So just so you don't think that there's a section that we missed, that is the section from earlier. And then here, McFry will kill the rogues. Not kill the lion butts, but that randoms hit will do that to it. So that's GG. And we'll be able to continue. We would be able to continue.
Like, do you get my annoyance here? We would have been able to continue and be in San Cleona if it wasn't for these annoying 1,000 encounters that have no purpose whatsoever. And at this point you really might be thinking, are we still not in St. Leona? And my answer is, no, we're not. And honestly, this is one of the most, the biggest downsides of the game. At first it's fun to explore these side quests and do everything you can. But at some point you're just like, okay, now I want to get to St. Leona. I want to finish this part of the quest. I want to participate in the tournament. I want to do something. You know? Find a metal... Scimitar. Go random even equip that. Higher defense. Power laser. Oh. 500,000 gold or die. Yeah. About that. Um. How about no? How does that sound? I'm not really sure what this is. This is a random encounter, like, random leader stocks. Okay. Let's see how much these stocks like robbing me. Because, plot twist, I don't think they like it a whole damn lot. So they're pretty weak. I don't know if that's. If they have a ton of health, and that that's why they're so weak, but they're definitely not difficult to damage. A random squadron strike will keep hitting these things quite decently. Where is Aircon? Right there. So Sarah will keep sapping health for herself, and then Luciana will also be sapping health and mana. And then random will be swooping in and kill the Gorgon. Which is good, the Gorgon's dead. So now there's just these two left. Which we can quadra strike, and honestly, I'm pretty sure if we just beat them down normally, we will get there. And this should be the final hit, and he's dead. So let's see. Wow, they did not have a lot of success with their robbing, did they? Did nobody pay them ever? Is that live? What's this? Okay, so right now we're just going to be um, checking out the little side quest that we will be doing later on. So first of all, there is the Don't Enter the Temple, Evil Crypt inside. So this is an evil crypt. We can't actually go inside, so that's easy enough. Then there is, on the right side here, in this little forest, there should be something. I'm not quite sure where. There should be something. No? Okay, whatever. So if you wanted to see the red par parsley used, here we go. She's live. Woohoo. Um, okay, so there was nothing there. I actually thought I must be confusing it with something. Now, you can actually just go straight up for St. Leona, which is... Um, uh, one big thing, kill the giant ly lycosis. That's not, like, advice. Or, I'm not like, you have to kill them, they're so good. That is just, you want to kill them or you die. Because those things are so annoyingly strong if they use their attacks. They know a heavy strike and it actually deals so much damage to you. It's not even funny. So it's gonna be Bomber X. And it's gonna kill him. And then we head up north. St. Leona Hills. And here we are, St. Leona. Welcome to St. Leona, people. This is the place. Um, now we're not going to go in here yet. Because we have no reason to go in here yet. Guardian headquarters. A house. Uh, I'm looking for the inn in case that wasn't clear. We need to heal up a bit. Found it. So 750 gold. That's actually quite a lot just to stay at the inn. But it's fine. Now once we're in Sacleona. Like we actually are here. This is the real deal. We've finally made it after all this time. Now this will be the armory, and this place will obviously have amazing armors, which kind of makes sense, because this is where you are meant to be. This is the place to be.
for every kind of armory and stuff. So, you know. Now, we can actually buy almost everything, including the diamond armor and the titan armor. So, we're gonna buy the diamond armor, and then... That's it, I think. Just a random is the strongest he can be. Now, take my advice here. You want random to be as strong as you can, so buy a lot of things that will actually boost his stats. Because you see, the Apassionata, Octrium Head, Knight's Helmet. The Heavy Helmet or the Knight's Helmet. Now, the Heavy Helmet is actually more expensive, so I'm actually going to buy that one. Not because I'm petty like that, but just because I know what's to come at this point. You want random's defense to be as high as you can. Like, as high as you possibly can. Isabella's Felicity, uh, a useless place. Uh, now what you can do is you can buy these marguerites, just buy 11 of them. It doesn't really matter, but you'll see, you'll see, it'll come in handy. Uh, change their surroundings. Um, change menu window. What? Okay. Actually, I actually want to check out what that does now. Where is it? Did I pass it? Uh. Oh, okay. So it's the same as that book in the beginning of the game. Only... Okay, that's kind of weird, but sure. I guess that's a little fun thing. Alright, this was useless. And here, the Knight's Essential Tools. So I guess... Uh, what? This guy only sells San Cleona Sabres. Okay. Wow. That's kind of sad. I think. Okay, let's explore this. What's, th what's in here? Normal house. What's this? Another normal house. House of Administration. San Cleona Hospital. Royal Library and the Sage's Tower. Okay, and then I guess this is, and I guess this is Ivine's Perpetual Chapel. So we're actually going to be saving our game here for good measure. You never know that you die at random, and you really don't want to ha have that happen. Now we're going to actually go to the um, Sanctuary Arena and actually sign up for the tournament. And we're going to be able to sign up. And now... We need to go to the palace to actually inform the people about the cult. Oop, what's going on? Oh, we get a little sightseeing! So yeah, look at this. That is one huge army. Wow. Wait, that was not even half of it. What the hell? Oh my god. Look at this. Imagine all of this attacking San Cleona at once. Or really, imagine them attacking Chantralis or Tangar. Have fun crossing the mountains. I wonder if they would survive the mountains. <laughs> imagine having this kind of army and just all die into the random encounters in the mountains. Wait, what was the point of that cutscene? Why would you show me that? Okay. These people are so ridiculously, annoyingly rude. It's like, not even... Why? Why are they so rude? So right now they're going to tell you that you have to go to the inn, which makes our previous investment of 750 gold quite annoying. But whatever. I love playing in the bath. Okay. So do I. But what am I supposed to be doing here? Can I leave? Probably not. 
Okay, so random is tired. Um Okay. Well, you know, random, maybe not everyone appreciates you skulking into their room. So they love each other. That's um Okay. Well we're just gonna tap 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 tap. We're not um going to be reading that dialogue. Now you might notice there is an actual Ivine flame here, so we're going to be able to save up, and that's going to be it for this video. Now, you might have noticed that there was a very small cut from before and after I talked to Sarah. That is because, well, this game is not entirely all the time clean in its dialogue, and that is one section that I found too, um, too much for YouTube, so I decided to cut it out, just, in c just to avoid any kind of trouble. So, sorry about that, but that's how it goes, you know. Anyways, this was Darty Q. See you all next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, see you all later.